Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! Hello, everybody, and welcome to week 18 of season 2 of WWE 2K24. My GM mode here on the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Uh, Mike the Ref, as always, here in... We're having a lot of fun here with uh, with GM mode as we're going along here. Got a couple upsets for champion. Got a couple contracts running out. Uh, for those that were around last week, uh, we ended up l losing ground on Raw big time, which I think we're going to find a way to fix that here coming up. But uh, not only that, but... We ended up losing Ava Moreno. We ended up uh, getting a few feuds together that might work, might not work because of the classes that went in there. We Last week, we changed around Becky and made her a bruiser instead of a specialist. So when she fights uh, Blair Davenport, it should be more of a more of a rivalry battle. And yeah, we got some special matches going on here tonight, so... Well, that being said, let's get into this here, because this is going to be a lot of fun. All right, so we promised Baron Corbin the main event. We promised Channing to make a special appearance in front of his whole fans. So we either got to get Valhalla in the tag match this week or next week. Ruthless ends her contract next week. You're on a lunch break. Hey! Good to see you here, Big G. Always appreciate you. Hope work is going well for you tonight. We're just getting into our booking here. So we're losing Ruthless and possibly Trixie and Billy. Oh, we got three con. <laughs> All right. We got a bit of a problem next week. So we're going to have to see how those contracts look. But my God. Let's see what we can do about cleaning up some of this here. So we've already figured out our, our main event, a tornado tag. What's the challenge? One Iron Man match this week? All right, I think we should be able to do that. Another match I want to do, we want to have our first defense of the newly won Intercontinental Championship against one Carmelo Hayes. There we go. Specialty is an Iron Man match. We will do that for our opening contest here. Popularity isn't that great for the two guys, but still. Let's see what else we got here. How much energy Bill... Okay, so Billy and JC still have to... Uh, I want to get that into a let's just put them in a tables match if we're going to do casket we got to do fix match and fix match I don't want to do because if Billy's leaving at the end of week 19 I don't want to lose her and JC at the same time so get those two going and then I guess if we're going to do this to keep uh, Valhalla happy we'll put Ruthless and Valhalla together so we got a fighter and a bruiser We are out of fighting me. We could be down to quite a few women here by the time we're done either way. 
This could be very interesting going forward here. You know what? Let's just get shenanigans all over the place here. We'll put Blair in there running in on Becky. Just let's have all the craziness going on here. Okay, so our matches are booked. We've got two title matches, then we got two women's matches in the middle here. Let's see what we can do here for promos here. No, go away. Uh, let's get, let's get the chip. Let's get this title match up to a level four here just to be safe. Want to maybe do some training with, uh, We could actually set up. Hmm. Interesting how we could do things here. Let's get Post Malone some popularity work here because, you know, frankly, he's in the game. We got him for the rest of the year, so. And for training, I think we might be able to get Scarlet up to, oh, actually, let's get Dragon off some training here, so maybe we can get him to 15 here. And there we go. I think this one's very straightforward this week. We will just have a regular tag team match. I don't want to get anything any too high in terms of cards here. That's gonna be a tables match. Those two know each other very well for feud. That's gonna be a good matchup. That one could be a shit show, but I just wanna see Blair attack Becky. I gotta get that tag out of the way to keep both of them happy. And our main event, we might have new tag champs at the end of this. We will see here. So let's see what we can do for power cards. What do I have for health spas already? Got no health spas, so we're definitely going to get one. Injury rehab, I got two level ones. I got two level threes. Yeah, we definitely don't need those. And we could do... Increases fans gain from this week's show by 25%. Cannot be used at a PLE, so we could use that pretty much any week. And then we have this card that says we retain most of our fans. I think we use this to uh, really boost things up. Maybe we can find a way to get back closer to Raw on this one now. See if there's anybody we can really increase right now. Because 15 XP should be able to get some of us Dom getting to a 10 might actually be pretty useful here, but I don't even think I need that one for that. Do I have an XP one? Nope, just an XP two. 
You know what? Maybe I'll hang on to that for right now. What do they got for free here? These are out of the uh, Pat McAfee pack, so we can pick them up for nothing. Jive Owens, Dewey Carter. No females available this week. Which means we might have to, at the PLE, we might have to pick up some uh, female talent here, so. Let's see here. Roster-wise, nothing big's going on. In terms of these, we still can't grow anything yet until we get enough assets. But we are looking at getting some social media ads next. I think we're good. All right, I think we've done this. Like I said, this one's a pretty easy P PPV to pick up here. 67,500. I think we did everything we can do on this one. So let's see what we can do here. All right, right off the bat, Argus making his first title defense against the uh, man that uh, did not eat the pin in that tables match. But this is going to be an Iron Man match, so... Yeah, we'll see if Argus can handle it here. So let's get to it. Once again, everybody, thank you for stopping by here. I truly do appreciate it. The following contest is an Iron Man match. And it's for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. I hope we can get a bunch of money off this show because we're going to, we have some serious contracts to buy. Just waiting for the Alicia's entrance, but they must be waiting till everybody gets in the ring here. So, yeah, Mello has had a lot of shots at titles. I've given him a shot at the IC title uh, two weeks ago. I've given him a heavyweight title run against Gunther. Uh, never got a chance to win the title. Maybe, maybe in one of his signature matches. The Iron Man match, he might have the opportunity to actually win this, so. We will see as we go here. But this is one of those scenarios I never expected in a long time. Argus the Great. He was a... He worked for us in season one, did a hell of a job, first night in, put stacks through a table, ends up winning the Intercontinental Championship. Now, Argus is, Argus has a level one feud with stacks right now, but I think that's more because of the title. If I had a way to get the title on the Mellow right now, the Mellow could fight with Dragonoff for all I care. Or, like right now, Rollins and Dragonoff have a feud, but if I can, if I can pivot that out and move it to, uh, Go to Alicia Taylor for the announcement of the match. Introducing the challenger from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes! Melo just angry.
So yeah, so this match here is the most falls in a 15-minute span. Little Nate once again, Charles Robinson is your referee for this contest. Can Melo break down and win the big one? And just for tonight, I'm going to do this for this match. This will be over for one bit here, so you guys have an opportunity to see the clock in the corner. Melo working over the knee early here. You know Melo's absolutely determined to get that title, but... Just a one count. The only thing that worries me about this matchup here in terms of both of these guys is the popularity of... Uh, of both of them. Like, Melo's at about a 50, but Argus is, I think, in the 30s. But I'm thinking because of the signature match, because of the title match. And it just looks like both these guys just absolutely hate each other. Argus taking his time, go to the outside. But now you got to help. Mello's taking the fight to the outside here. But Argus comes back with that neck breaker just to save his rear end. This is actually very smart by Argus here. Continue to attack on the outside. They end up getting a count out. I think Mello knows that. If he can beat him up to the point where there's a count out, that's one fall, right? Mello once again taking control here with a drop kick. With a big man like, like Argus, taking out the pins from underneath is actually a very smart move. Stomp to the face. Stomp to the chest. All right, Mitch G, you have yourself a great after, well, great evening. We will see you soon. If not tomorrow, then some other day soon. Hope you're ready for All Out on Saturday. Side Russian leg sweep by Mello. Looks like he's got something planned. Got him with that cutter. And just a two count, so Mello does not get the first pinfall of the matchup here. This crowd is absolutely loving this. And Mello just meets it outside with that splash. Ooh, what a shot. Taking it to Argus once again on the outside. Oh, trying to go for a cutter again. Reversal, reversal. Ah, Argus didn't mess with that one. Argus taking his time, making Mello think about it. Getting a view from the upside downy. Hitting hard on that mat outside. Once again, Argus taking him inside. I don't know how smart of a move that is. Honestly, in a match like this where total falls are what matter. Oh, and Argus is split open. This is not good. 
This is not good for the champ. Leg drop over the rope. Mello's gotta, gotta get a fall here. We're almost five minutes into this match. As we hit the five minute mark here, still no falls either way. Into the cross face. And Argus manages to fight out of it. Oh, it just says no more. Got him up. Hangs him up with a quarter. Drops the big elbow. Just two or three little moves. And Argus just takes back full control of this matchup. Look at that dead weight. Which might be literal here if Carmelo doesn't get out of this run here, because it just seems while well Argus as he uh, starts building up, starts building up momentum here. Looks like he might not be stopped. As he reached nine minutes left in the matchup. Oh, go. Quick power slam, cover, rope, still on the ropes, bad positioning there. Argus getting angry. Argus with the big splash. Looking to inflict some more damage on the outside as we almost reach the halfway point of this matchup. And unlike those other indie federations, we actually show the clock on the scoreboard here. And our stuff is entertaining enough. We don't have to uh, worry about the fans counting down every 10 seconds. Mellow did not sound good there. Mello gonna send Argus back into the rig. I think, I think Mello does have to find a way to keep this in the rig. Uh oh, he got caught. Last ride. Trip through the ages by Argus will lead to the first pinfall. So we have one nothing Argus here, halfway through the matchup. This is a 15 minute Iron Man match. So the most falls will win it. Let's get going over the quarter. Argus not laying up at all, which really surprised me at this point. Well, actually, uh, Zodiac, I have to thank you for that. Because I just, it just rolled through my mind here that you're covering Soul Calibur. And just trip through the ages just sounds like Sykes would say in Soul Calibur. I do get a little bit creative once in a while. Quick finish there. Are we going to tie this up? Still one nothing. Yeah, that Soul Calibur is amazing. Amazing and forget like I really do hope they come up with, with a new one soon. There's been talk of it like Because that is one of the games that inspired a lot of the Tekken series too, right? So... Like Harada has mentioned that he'd like to see a new Soul Calibur game, a new Virtua Fighter. Oh, Melo with the block here. Melo picking up the momentum. Springboard splash! Oh my god, he broke the code and maybe 
Argus's chest on that. I'd be pitting him right now. He's down one nothing with almost five minutes left. Double the face, one spump. Oh, and Mello just, you know Argus is hurt when one shot takes him down, right? Gonna go, big DDT. Now it looks like he's setting up for something else here. Oh, once again, going after that leg. Time is of the essence though. Once again, that somersault to the outside pays off. Straight flop over the top. Uh-oh. Argus turns the tide. It's the advantage of being a giant. One move. Now this is a real dangerous spot for Mello. Even though they're both working on getting back in the ring, I'm surprised. Argus up one nothing with four minutes to go here. Setting up for his finish. Oh, just gonna go for the cover. Just a two count. Back elbows in the corner. Mello looks like he's done. One more pin. Farragut said it. This might actually be it. Elbow from the top. Oh, I guess. Oh my God, Dominator. Farouk could be ever so proud. Argus up two nothing with three minutes to go. Melo's got to do some work. Is he gonna take him a trip through the ages again? Yes! Oh, uh, three nothing now. This is almost impossible now for Mello. Oh, and Argus ain't fooling around. Trip through the ages for a third time. Another cover. Four falls at two and a half minutes to go. We're done here. Argus is just like, yep, yeah, we're done. Well, this is his first title defense, right? Like if he's gonna put on a performance like this, maybe I gotta send him over to Rollins. And now, and now Argus is doing the smart move. Keep it to the outside and just don't let it. Like for these 10 counts, that's gonna take at least 30, it's gonna take 40 seconds to get that, right? Hits his finisher on the outside. All right, so now it's four to one. But Melo just cost himself the match right there. Argus ain't gonna wait. He, he can take all the time of the world. He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna fight him. Oh wait, here we go. Oh, could we see a comeback? Quick cover. Four to two, 40 seconds to go. Mello, you gotta kick it up a notch here, let's go. Kick to the back, get him up. These fists ain't gonna do it, you need two falls, my friend. Get him up. Just that lack of urgency, oh no. 
Play in the crowd, no sense of urgency. He's got to get two covers. Oh, that's it. Argus. Wise beyond his ages. And he's got a lot of ages on him. In three seconds, he's got this in the bag. Mello does miss once again. Mello's been getting every chance in the book. Here is your winner. Here is still the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Argus the Grey. Bloody, beaten, battered, bruised, but not beaten. the hell was that what the hell did i just say battered bruised broken but not beaten argus the great four stars what a great way to start tonight like i said this one was very simple to put together good promo did not put it up to a to a level four i am very disappointed in you guys so this one here i'm looking to get to a level four for next week i hope this gets a good score i don't really care as long as it doesn't get a five star jcj and billy slugger billy's one of the three wrestlers that is done next week last time we signed her it was last time we had her here it was a ridiculous offer that she wanted. She wanted like 60 grand to finish the season off. And I'm like, no. Now, I'm hoping to get JC over as the victor in this feud. Because if, if I could get JC there... Making her way to the ring from Tampa, Florida. JC. If JC can get out of this feud intact and Becky keeps the title over Blair, we're probably looking at a JC versus uh, Becky for the title at Mania. Which for me could be the main event as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, Bi Billy's been playing hardball with me for pricing a lot, so. And the one thing, if Billy goes, we. Of the women's tag team champions, Billy Slugger. If Billy goes, we could actually crown new tag champs. Because right now, Billy is teamed up with Fallon Henley, I do believe, for the women's tag championships, which she won over uh, JC Jane and Scarlett, which I found to be a great team as well. So. We are having a little stockpile of uh, all our heels are disappearing, so we're gonna have to. S well, basically, all our ladies are missing. So, since you had DLC characters by GM, can you create characters and add? Them? I do believe you have to pre-select them as part of your. Like when you start up my GM mode, you can set your roster to who you have. One thing you could also do, and I do, it does produce star numbers. It just doesn't have this, the competition part of it in terms of other GMs. There is my universe. Every match gets a star rating regardless. I actually haven't got into a full, full one yet. Because what I'd like to do eventually if... If we were able to do that, I definitely would have an AEW roster.
Because I think you could download up to 20 creator creator characters. Jesus. Coming off the ropes. Once again, this is a tables match, so... Which, in retrospect, I might not have needed, but it still feels like this, this few need stipulations. Full Nelson bomb. Billy go, uh oh, little late. JC still not getting out of the way in time though. See, when I, uh, when I set my GM up, I set it up so that I could just uh, pick any, re any wrestler that was available. I didn't put any limitations on anything, so I do believe you get those parameters again if you So Billy's looking at the announce table and thinking, hmm, maybe that'll count. So the one thing about this match, if uh, if it ends up this is a level four, Billy doesn't want to resign. Next week we're gonna have to have Billy Skelliger and JC Jade in a cage. That'll be our main event for next next week if if we run into that contract situation here. Nice neck breaker reversal. Let's just put tables in at all four corners just for the hell of it. Down with a thud. Billy going for some other gear. Two tables is not enough. Let's go for four. Everybody just stayed right out of the way here. All right, Jane, you, Jane, you got two tables in the ring already. You don't need a third. All right, well, you're going to do a third. That's fine. You're just going to eat a clothesline or two while you do. All right. She squ Jane scorpions herself, but still gets the move off. Oh, geez, there's a receipt from earlier. I will have to say AI logic isn't the smartest in the world here this game. That almost broke a table. Ow. I will say they are putting on a good match. Once again, blocking that table. 
Jade said it. She said enough. Get this match back in the ring. Nice, German. I'll get that table right where you want it. Nope. All right, Billy now looking for the table. It doesn't work that way. You have to put somebody through the table. No pinfalls, of course, but good reversal there. Jade could get it off in time. See, if she would have set up the table, that would have been over. Oh God. Well, looks like we got Jade going through a table. <laughs> Here is your winner, Billy Jade is gonna be so pissed. Jane is gonna be so pissed. No advancement of the feud. Damn you. All right. But you know what? A four then a three, I could live with that. Let's see your Post Malone. Come on, dude. You got a promo skill of five. You should be getting yourself way more over. Anyway, let's get to our next match here. So... How does that not advance the feud? I don't know. I, I really don't know. We'll have to take a look later at the stats and see how it goes. So we got Ruthless and Valhalla, who demanded that they be teaming up, even though one could leave next week and the other one could leave the week after. Oh, no. Valhalla's here till 22. Sorry. Taking on Ivy Nile and the women's tag champ. I'll be honest. I have no real story behind this except for the fact that Blair wants to beat up Becky and get that title. So we have the red in from Blair on Becky. So I expect crap out of this match. One, two, that's it. Ring the bell. They still retain two star match. That's that little green line is the only thing that matters to me. Davenport Lynch increased their feud. That's all I wanted. Drag it off. XP8 might be enough to get him to another level, though. That could be important here. But speaking of important, our main event. So, going back to the request this week. Baron demanded main event. Stax wanted to be featured in his hometown. These guys have been feuding for a while. So you know what? Let's just throw them in a tornado tag and see what happens. Speaking of which... Let's see what happens. It's just everybody follows the rules and this is what, like I said, this week is one of those weeks where it's so dumb. It's easy booking next week might be a little harder depending on which contracts we pick up and which contracts are gone. Because we're going to have to try and settle some feuds if we can. Like Trixie's done her feud, so I really don't care if she leaves. The following contest is a tornado tag team match. And is for the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers. First, representing the Judgment Day. From San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds, Dirty Dominic Mysterio. Dom looks so happy right now. So bad. So bad.
this crowd chanting is just I can't wait for 25 when all it is is a crowd just booing the piss out of all of them like they're just unloading on Dom every time he tries to do anything Because I think 2K25 is going to be a must get for us. The MyGM has just been so much fun for all of us here. And it's a good way to wind down after a long week, right? And a long day, two good hours of real wrestling. And I love the fact that I get Baron Corbin more looks than... Uh, the then actual WWE does these days. As we go into the Twitch ad break here. And his partner from Kansas City, weighing in at two. I really do feel that this is one of those matches. This is one of those cards where I use the extra 25% card in a real real good spot because this is just such a solid card. Baron might make it into the ring by, by uh, WrestleMania. At this point, he's making the taker look quick. All right, here come the champions. Hey, representing the D'Angelo family from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 200. Hey, Crowder. One half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Jenny Stacks. Try not to be too facetious here about it, PJC, but this might have been the best go home dynamite to a pay per view I think I've ever seen with AEW. Introduced a couple new matches. Garcia MJF opened the show to a very violent start and ended up with a house being burnt down in the main event. Sorry, I know she's uh, computer generated, but still, I have respect for the ring announcers. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I believe Zodiac was talking about it during the uh, during the stream there that the crime counter that set that uh, Simon uh, Miller has on his reviews that thing's gonna get a few clicks tonight, to say the least. Uh, assault on fans, technically. I don't know what Garcia you would call it. Um, damaging property by Pac on uh, Osprey in the back. We did find out we're getting BCC versus Elite for the tag titles on Saturday, so that'll be fun. For those watching this on uh, YouTube, we are uh, doing a, a live sidecast of AEW uh, All Out from Chicago this Saturday. Twitch.tv slash Mike the Ref. As Charles Robinson takes those titles. Been a busy man tonight. Oh, 
But yeah, Sheeta showed off her new shirt, which is red rather than... The new shirt she has on sale is red, which automatically puts it in my top five. Mainly because it's not black. Could you imagine them rotating in about five seconds? So if anybody's asking me here who I want to win in this, to be honest, I want a title change. Just because Clint is... Uh, Clint's contract is due up at Survivor Series. And once again, how much is he going to want? Because like we said, Billy was absolutely insane for how much money she had or wanted. The other thing to remember as we go along here Well, that was a double smosh. Bear just said, nope. Well, yeah, Nyla and Mariah was actually a really good match. Okada and uh, Fletcher was another great match. You can just tell Fletcher's going to be a star. And Stax takes out both heels in one dive. That's always great. I think Loret I think Lorenzo's gonna be hurt after this. Maybe just me, but we haven't had any injuries yet, knock on wood. Down for the cover. And McDougal gets in to break it up real quick. Quick stomp. Is Stomp going to get there in time for the save? Guess he doesn't need to. DDT hooks the leg. McDougal realized his partner needs help. Okay, deep six on the outside. McDougal should be done. Dom gonna try and pick up the scraps. It ain't gonna work with two guys there. Stacks getting some work to. Oh, nice neck breaker. So once again, this is a tornado tag match for the uh, SmackDown tag titles. Dom's good at picking up scraps. I will give you that one. That's beautiful. I, I have to say, Bash in Berlin, I was really disappointed with the uh, mixed tag match. I actually thought there'd be more mixed tag action. Oh my God, end the days. That should be it. McDougal kicked out of end the days. Nobody's allowed to do that. Yeah, I really do wish there was more interaction between Rhea and Dom and even Liv and Damien. 
Like during that mixed tag match on the uh, on Zero Hour. He kicked out of the most protected finisher in WWE, exactly. Right now I'd have to say it's the second most protected. Because realistically the RKO is most protected. The only reason it's more protected with Baron is the fact he doesn't wrestle. So that's like the ultimate protection. Yeah, well, the champion had to kick out, right? But nobody else has. I wonder if you heard about uh, Eric Bischoff talking about how Gunther needed that match to get over against Orton. I'll be honest, I still haven't got a chance to see it. That's the one match of the show. I heard it was really good. I'm looking forward to seeing it. I just haven't had time to watch. Stack's gonna retain, here we go. There it is. Champs retain. Bitch off's a clown, yeah, I'll give you that one. I expect Stacks to be injured after this, by the way. Just because I forgot to put the pre-match physio on there. I think we might have found our main event to the pay-per-view with the PLE. Stax is damn near your MVP. He's had a hell. He had a hell of a run with the IC title. He's had a run with the uh, tag titles here. I really hope Clint doesn't ask for a high number. So we've had two fours, a three, and a two. This actually turned out to be pretty damn amazing, if you ask me. Well, let's go check out what everybody else did. Starting off with Raw. Sammy Vortex and Lita for the Women's Championship. Come on, Sammy. Damn it, Lita. A level three feud, though. I give him credit. Randy Savage with a good promo. I like it. Danielle Wallace and Molly Holly versus Charlotte and Natalia. Yeah, because the other half of their tag champs is injured for another year. Two and a half, okay, so they're good there. Kit Wilson gets some extra fans. Robert Roode and Braun Breaker versus Champa and Truth. Three of the manliest beards you will ever see there. And our truth Rude and Breaker with a three star and a new rivalry. Okay, cool. Meechin calls out Molly Holly, making a level three. I like that. And our main event for the world title. Stardust. Take it on, Otis. Let's go Stardust. Let's go Stardust. Let's go Stardust. Stardust is your new world champion on Raw. Let's go Stardust. That graphic's going to be amazing. All right, over at ECW. Or WCW, sorry. Adrian Bunk, Drew McIntyre, Johnny Gargano. No title on the line. One, two, ring the bell. Adrian Buck, three star match. Buck and McIntyre agree with the rivalry. All right. Tim Burr with a weak promo. Big shock. Paragon J. Pierce taking on Captain Grog in another filler match. Level four, give 
Got to give them credit. They're developing rivalries. Andre Chase, who is nowhere to be found currently. Omos taking on Eddie Guerrero. One, two, that's it. It's over. Hit the back. Omos dominating in a two and a half star match. The champs calling out. All right. I didn't expect the champs to call it on a promo. And the Iron Man match that had to be booked this week. Bukati versus Carry Cross. One, two, that's three. Bukati wins in a three and a half star. All right. Let's see what ECW had up their sleeves. Opening match, triple threat. Honk tonk, man. Versus the tag champs. I don't like Honky's chances, to be honest. One, two, that's it. Ring the bell. Oh my God, he won anyway. Green Honky Tonk Man go to level two. All right. Rhonda. I don't know why it's only a gain of one. She's so good at putting herself over, though. Sheamus versus MVP. Sheamus is pissed right now, though. See his morale? We might be able to get him on the cheap. One, two, that's three. Ring the bell. MVP wins in a two-star match. That's what happens when your morale's terrible. This is the level four promo that never ends. So Jody runs in on Jody runs in on Indy. As she teams up with Liv against Highland Piper. All right. One, two. It's a weird run in. Island Pip. <sighs> so, chat, just letting you know Piper will be back the week of WrestleMania. <laughs> Thank you for that, Zodiac. It seems so appropriate at this moment. Uh, yeah. Pipe, unless Heyman's got a bunch of cards to play, Piper will be back the week of Mania. That's it. Good luck building a feud now. Logan Paul versus Josh Briggs. Title not on the line. Thank God. Briggs wins as to, as expected. Three star match. Uh, all right. Now the moment of truth. The report cards. We used that card for 25% more fans. Let's see if it worked out. Amazing booking. You got to love the amazing part of that. So level three there. Level three there. Level two for Davenport and Lynch. In level four tag. Let's go. On the next side here. Oh, I wanted to check side here quick. Match report. Stax is at 20. Corbin's at 26. So if I throw him, I give him the week off next week, throw him in a cage the week after. I won't really care if they're injured because, well, frankly, we'll just release them and move on. Oh, yeah. You can't release somebody who's injured. I forgot. Anyway. Dahmer made level 10. I like that. All right. Let's see here. Let's go check the other three. Good booking. So the new champ is involved in level three rivalry. Level three. Level one. Level three. So they got some level three setting up for the PLE. So I like that for them. Good booking again, a level two, a level four mid card, a level three tag, and this one's been level four forever. And ECW got good booking, level two, this level four feud that'll never end. Niven's out five weeks, sorry about your damn luck. And this feud's at a level two, so not much in terms of advancement of the feuds, but... At least they're there, except for Niven. Anyway, let's see the big money payouts here. 
So we got a 113. We got an extra 19,000 fans for our bonus. We're up to over $400,000 in revenue. Pretty and Valhalla are incredible tag team. Well, we'll see how much they cost. Um, we got a ton of money. We got a ton of, well, the 50,000 fans literally just gets us to where Smack or Raw was. So basically whatever Raw did this week is going to be what we have to catch up. All right, let's see here. Any other notes? No. 118. So they got another. F Are you freaking kidding me? Wow. They got no money, though. They got no money. Molly Holly and that. All right, so we're good there. Thirty-four thousand, so we're doing okay there. They got two sixty-one and a one hundred nine. Three hundred thousand, so there we're killing everybody for money. We're just missing out on fans. Isla Dawn and Piper Divid work really well as a team together. Great undefeated clash. Too bad they're not going to be around till Mania. We got a health spa three. That's going to help with a lot of stamina here. So we are 60,000, 50,000 fans. 64 minus nine is 55. 55,000 fans behind Raw. We are 20,000 ahead of ECW. And well, Bischoff's doing Bischoff things to WCW, but so I know on Twitch, we're going to be doing a double taping, but we are going to treat this the same way here. So let's go see what's going to happen next week here as we move in, because this is not on a, a level save point. We're still going to run it as normal, even though we are going to be filming this right after a commercial break here. So let's take a look. Pittsburgh, PA. All right, Billy, what do you want? Thirty-nine five. So that's a lot less than sixty. And she's actually been doing a lot for our rivalries here. So let's see what we could do here. The computer wants to offer 40, an extra 6,000 for one more week. Hell no. Zodiac, what's your advice? You think she's worth it? I, I think Billy, if I, of the three, I think Billy is the one that's worth it more than anything else. You know what? I think we're. I'd say the end of season. It maths. All right. You know what? Let's do it. Let. If I'm gonna keep any of the three, if the other two give me like a half decent offer, fine. But if they don't, all right. We're good there. 20,000. 20,000 ain't that bad, really. I'm thinking... You know what, Trixie... I'm just looking, what level is she at? Six. So we've done some stuff with her, but I don't know if we got anything else for her.
You know what? Let's I I'm going to I'm going to agree with you here. All right, this is one I'm a little worried about, but not much. Oh yeah, we're... I'm not even thinking about that. Since we got the tag team, we're... And her morale's gone up because we she loved our tag team, so... Stax has been handing me nothing but losses. Isn't there someone else in the roster you can have me match up against for a change? You know what? I don't want to piss Dom off. We'll put Dom in a nothing match this week against, well, maybe we'll throw Mello at him or something this week. So I think we got everything except Mello needs to hit. He's been missing a lot. That's exactly it. So we got... So our biggest headaches right now coming up. Argus is done next week. The Hell is done next week. We will have some money available if they do leave. So I'm not 100% worried about it. But I definitely do want to see if we can do something with, with that. But... We got some upgrades to do. We got some, uh, we got a full card to book here. Let's take a look at our challenges before we go here. We should, if everything goes well, we should be able to get our tier one fan challenge by the end of this season. Money wise, it's going to be a while because we still got to keep building and whatnot. So we're still having a rough time with that. And then have at least one false count anywhere match this week. That won't be a problem either. So, but with that being said, let's bring it to a chat screen here. For those on Twitch, stick around. We are going to be running week 19 here. Right after we're done here, we're going to just uh, get the graphics updated and whatnot. And we'll be going here. For those here on YouTube, uh, make sure you stop by here. This will be broadcast on Friday. So uh, this uh, next episode will be coming up next Tuesday with uh, week 19 of our series as we head towards Su Survivor Series. Once again, thank you everybody for being here. I always appreciate you. And make sure you hit the like, subscribe, comment your favorite match. Tell me something you want to see as part of the booking series here. But no matter what, always remember, be part of the solution, don't be part of the problem. And we'll see you here next time on the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Take care, everybody.